Hey, in this tutorial, we are going to see what is bitrate and the types of bitrate, and uh, we will also see hands on examples for these three types of bitrates. So, let's get started. So, bitrate is a parameter that determines overall audio and video quality. It specifies the number of bits processed per time unit, uh, and also in FFmpeg, we express bitrate in bits per second. Usually, higher the bitrate, higher the quality of uh, multimedia content or audio video quality. So, let's move on to types of bitrates. So, there are mainly three types of bitrates. Uh, one is average bitrate, constant bitrate, and variable bitrate. Average bitrate is the number of bits processed per second. So, it is also used in uh, encoding VBR, uh, variable bitrate. Uh, we'll come to the VBR next. So first see what is uh, CBR. So constant bit rates uh, refers to number of bits processed per second remains constant here. It doesn't fluctuate with the screen, the speed of the screen you change or the how complex the screen is. So the bit rate throughout the video remains constant. Coming to variable bit rate, variable bit rate is the number of bits processed per second and the number of bits processed per second is variable here. Uh, for example, in complex scenes, the variable bitrate access will access a higher bitrate complex scenes and a lower bitrate for the scenes which are still or almost with a very less motion. Now, one more thing, encoding with variable bitrate needs more time and CPU power uh, than constant bitrate. Recent media players are able to encode and decode uh, the variable bitrate easily because the mechanism of encoding and decoding and the use of efficient use of hardware is up to the mark now. So let's go with hands-on examples with uh, all the three types of bitrates. First I'm going to go ahead and capture this, capture my desktop screen to create a sample test video. So I'm going to use this command uh, to get 30 fps and the output file name, me, output file name will be output.mkv. So I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Capturing desktop as initiated. I'm going to stop at like 10 15 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and press control. As you can see, uh, here is the size it is 512 KB now, 768 kilobytes now. Cool, 1 MB. I'm going to stop it and I'm going to go to my folder and click on play. Yes, so here is the video that we recorded just now using FFmpeg. I'm going to go ahead and see the details. We can use FF Pro Utility. So here is the bitrate. We have the bitrate uh, 201 kilobytes per second. Now let's go on test uh, the setting bitrate with FFmpeg. So since the video bitrate we have is 200 kilobytes per second range bitrate, uh, I'm going to just reduce this 1.5 megabyte to just a one, uh, 0.1 megabyte. So FFmpeg minus i output.mkv and minus b slash v it will be 0 0.1 megabyte so i'm going to name it as average bitrate.mp4 so i'll go ahead and click on enter the process of encoding is started what we are trying to achieve is average bitrate so the process is complete now i will see look at the details of the file ff pro average bitrate.mp4 click on enter and as you can see the bitrate is 100 kilobyte per second so this is how we get uh, set the bitrate using ffmpg now let's move on to the next uh, type of bitrate uh, we will try to set constant bitrate by specifying two parameters here that is min rate and max rate now i'm going to go back to my terminal 
clear this so ff mpeg minus psi output dot mkv minus Here uh, we have 0 0.5. I'm just going to reduce it to 0 0.1 as uh, the max bit rate of output MKV is 200 kilobytes per second. So uh, anything out of that range, I don't think it's going to work. So I'm going to set it as 0 0.1. And here is the option that we have to supply min rate and max rate. So min rate is 0 0.1 megabyte and here too I forgot to mention M here and the max rate will be 0 0.1 M and output file uh, okay there is another one option we have to supply uh, there is another option that we need to supply which is buff size which will be 1 megabyte and let's make it 0 0.5 megabyte and the output file name will be constant output file name will be constant bit rate dot mp4 so i'm going to go ahead and click enter so as you can see the process is started the process is complete now here is the file constant bitrate.mp4 let's go ahead and see the details of this file you will use the utility ff probe again let's give this video as an input so click on enter and yeah as you can see it's near 100 which is uh, 99 kilobyte per second but that's okay so that's how we set a constant bitrate while encoding so we just specify the parameters min rate and max rate and make sure uh, the parameter values are same for both min rate and max rate or it is going to take it as an average of both and set the bitrate cool so now let's move on to variable bitrate as I said before variable bitrate uses CBR constant bitrate so if we just vary the I'm going to go ahead and use the same exact same line of command here I'm going to change the max rate to 0 0.2 and buffer size i'm going to change it to 1 megabyte this will give us now this will set the variable bitrate i'm go, i will go ahead and press enter before that and i'm going to change the output file name to variable bitrate mp4 cool. i'm going to go ahead and press enter so the process is complete i'm going to use the utility again. i'm going to first see the file so here is the variable bitrate.mp4 i'm going to use ff pro variable bitrate.mp4 click on enter and as you can see it's 94 so that's how we set the variable bitrate by changing the values of min rate and max rate so that should uh, work so this is the end of the tutorial we have seen how to set average bitrate average bitrate constant bitrate and variable bitrate and this bitrate uh, you can see in practical uh, use cases also if you are familiar with screen recorders like obs or any screen recorders you will find uh, these options like which option do you choose for recording so i'm going to go to settings and output so I'm going to change it to advance and here is the options here are the options CBR, ABR, CBR constant bitrate, average bitrate and variable bitrate so this tutorial would be very helpful if you are going ahead with screen recording softwares like OBS studio or Bandicam thank you and we will see in the next tutorial